warm enough for me to wear a really thin jacket, but I'm also layering a lot underneath. So, someone left these here. It's a communal space. I'm picking up my new passport tomorrow. The old one expired in 2020. So, finally got around to fixing that. Um, it's funny, actually, it really merged with some themes in my subconscious of corona and being stuck. So I had a lot of really stressful dreams about showing up at the airport ready to... Airport? <laughs> the airport ready to board the flight and then realizing that I couldn't, that I didn't have my passport. Um, and now that I'm renewing it and getting the new one, I've had new stress dreams. Um, about not having collected the new passport before the trip. I am going to Berlin next month uh, and I'll need my passport. It's truly springtime. All the birds are singing. There's so many flowers. I bought this for dinner. It's a veggie curry uh, with apples, onions, tomatoes and coconut milk and curry spinach um, and it has a uh, potato compote is that the, it's written in danish so microwave dinner Ooh, that's very runny that does not look like the picture i didn't know i could look at it before i bought it Ooh, I found they had this at the store. The new hazelnut on the dust board. Vegan one. Um, my review is that it's decent. It tastes a lot like the German Vigo, but with less nougat. And currently I am I'm knitting a sock. Um, somehow at the back ended up at the side of this one and I didn't knit enough rows here so it doesn't match literally don't know what was happening I was listening to Tina Deco so I got distracted okay food and then go for a walk and knit and maybe journal and look at all the flowers anyway, today was daylight savings time so there's an hour more of sunlight today which is so the sun is kind of still out, and it's half past seven. Do you hear the 
blackbirds. There are geese honking as well, but mm, people laughing. I'm currently reading this um, this far in and it is incredibly beautiful I love the feeling of being sucked into a book I don't have enough uninterrupted reading time it's like a sleepover I'm having a sleepover feeling considered buying a vegan ramen, but it didn't have a price tag, so I didn't. All of the COVID restrictions have been lifted completely in Denmark because most of the population has gotten vaccinated and the cases are down and yeah. So it's, it's no longer considered a crisis. And it's so weird, we barely talk about corona anymore. Okay, can you shut up? It's such a shift, such a dramatic shift from the last two years. I feel like it's been its own space completely. Like I was 21, now I'm 23. I was a design student. And now I'm not. Now I know how to sail. I still feel like I'm forgetting my mask. Sometimes on public transportation. And then I'm afraid people will see my videos and think that I'm irresponsible. Ooh, fun update, or not, I don't know. So, you know how I've been writing in these books since 2018? Maybe you didn't know. They're featured in a few of my videos. I bought the same model notebook to write my diary in 
for the last four years. And I always bought them at the same like corner store. Uh, it's a really nice paper shop and they always had it somewhere pretty cheap. The paper quality is really nice. It's a good warm toned paper and the lines are actually like a dark green and it has a fabric cover so and it's quite tiny I really like the format my my writing is pretty small so perfect for me ideal book um, and then I went in there and they did not have any more of them and I looked everywhere online and I could only find one place that had four left in stock. So I bought those and I'm having a bit of a crisis. Maybe prematurely because uh, I've gone through four notebooks in those four years. But you never know. And I don't like the idea of getting a new book because the format is really important to me. Uh, and back in 2018 was when I really started journaling the way that I do now um, in a way that really works for me. It doesn't feel forced. It doesn't feel like I'm trying to do something to please someone else. It's just for my own sake. Uh, I found a little groove with it um, that I'm afraid I'm going to lose if I use another book. And if you get that, you get it. If you don't, you don't, I think. I also used the same pen in all the books. And uh, it's this one, Mitsubishi number 460. And there's nothing really special about this pen. Uh, I like the way it looks. And it's just the one that I've used for all of the books. And so that makes it special. And I've thought that I've lost it so many times where I didn't. So I feel like it's it's a little era for me with these books. I have so many refills for this pen. I bought like a couple boxes with 20 refills in them each. So I won't run out. I think. But I really like rituals and routines and valuing the stuff that I have a lot. Do you want to see my passport photo? I don't know how I can show this to you. Wait, uh, can I cover all the information? It's from 2015. The new picture is not good either. So. And I don't have a driver's license, so this is like my official picture ID. Got some perfume samples, if you want to smell. No? That would be really cool if you could do that. This one's very lemony. I really like that. But I put the other one on at the store. And I don't smell it anymore. And it hasn't been that long, so... Maybe they're not that good. They're from Tombow. If any of you have those perfumes, are they any good? Okay. I should go to bed.